class. Welcome back to Ajayi Math class. Today we want to solve for x in this equation. Now doing this, the question looks a little bit cumbersome, but don't worry, I'm here for you. Now, for us to do this, the first thing you need to do is to apply log reading. So applying log reading to this, we have log in base 10 to x plus 6 to the power of x squared minus 9 equal log 1. So the rule of log reading, then we can move this down here. So here I'm going to have x squared minus 9 log 2x plus 6 equal log 1 is the same thing as 0. Provided it is in base 10, which is natural log. We have this. We have two options. It shows that it's either this is equals to 0 or this equals to 0. So let's split that into two. So it's either you have s squared minus 9 equals to 0 or we have log 2x plus 6 equals to 0. Now let's solve this first. Solving this first, looking at this, we have the s squared minus 9. This is a form of what? Completing the square because 9 is a perfect square. So using the completing the square approach, this is going to give us s squared x minus 3 x plus 3 equals to 0. So this shows that my x equals to plus or minus 3. That is for this. Now coming back here. Here I have log 2x plus 6 equals to 0. Applying log uh, to both sides again. Yeah, the exponents to both sides. The exponent sign is going to cancel out this log whereby you have 2x plus 6 and to 0 is going to give you 1. So here you can have 2x equals 1 minus 6. Here, 2x equals negative 5. Dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2, which is 2. Then my x can be equals to negative 5 over 2. Now looking at this, we've gotten three solutions for x. But we need to confirm if all the three solutions are valid. Here, I can say finally, my x equals to positive 3 and negative 5 over 2. Why? What about negative 3? Because here, this means my x is either plus 3 or minus 3. If you plug in negative 3 into this equation, this is going to be 0. And this is going to be 0. So 0 to the power of 0 cannot be the same thing as 1. So that shows that what? That shows that negative 3 does not fit into this equation. So my final equation is going to be positive 3 and negative 5 over 2. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please just subscribe, um, subscribe to this channel, then share this video. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.